What is Floppy Pommies? My name is Sentiments and welcome to Under What? Let's get started. I'm just as confused as you are, as always. Oh, what a beautiful man on a beautiful day near a beautiful lake doing some beautiful fishing. Oh, I'm. Some beautiful music, too. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, still fishing. Taking a deep sigh. Some tuna fish to use as bait. Okay, uh, it's a very, very beautiful experience. So oh, whoa. <laughs> whose fault is that now? It just sinks lower and lower into the depths of the lake. This is a really deep lake. Get up! Open your eyes. I know you're not dead. Uh, how do you know? Oh, well, hi there. This is interesting. Uh, how am I not drowning? Good eye, mate. Hello there. So, you are at the bottom. One more time. I've done this before. Okay, that says a lot about me. However, you are no stranger to this. I, so far, yes, old man. It is you again. I look so done with this. <laughs> it stinks fishy in here. You look excellent. How is the family? <laughs> How's the family? Hmm, the family's just great. Did they taste well? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's some spilling the tea over here. Try with the tartar sauce next time. Dang, you are a posh poisson. So we will just stand here wasting time for chit chat. I see. You can't wait to start. You don't say. At first, you will ask me three questions. After that, I will give you three answers. And then, then I'll ask you a question. What? Uh, only what? Uh, I'm getting very confused right now. <laughs> By the way, you've already wasted your first question. Ooh, <laughs> yikes. What is it like to be a fish? Aren't you afraid to die? <laughs> what? Why is this? I, I kind of wanted to see what happens. Aren't you afraid to die of ligma? Very funny, nerd. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll admit that was my fault. I'm vaccinated. Okay, good, good. I was wondering. I was hoping so. Didn't know fish could get vaccinated, but aren't you sorry wasting your attempts? I don't give a shell. Nice censorship right there. Well, last question. Yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Why are we here? Just to suffer. Why are we here? According to the legend, the first old man who speaks to the fish will ascend to the throne of the Sea Kingdom, as the Great Crab predicted. Well, the Great Crab is speaking some horse shankles. Did you just... Did I just what? Did you just make this up? Yes. But I'll count the question. Hmm. My fish scales are of the highest quality. Oh, wow. This is pretty beautiful, actually. This city is so old and elegant. Just like you. Well, what are you saying about me? I'm an old piece of crap? Okay. All right. I mean old. Yep. I'm old. I know. I'm sorry. They say you witnessed Megalodon. I, I witnessed... Ahem. I, I, maybe you finally ask your stupid question and leave me alone. Oh, yeah, right. Who are you? A fisherman, a teacher, a farm. Well, I was fishing, but then again, I'm not a good fisherman if I fell into the lake for the second time. You know this very well. I'm a simple fisherman. You are starving for a long time, but you have never touched the fish you catch. That, that... Wow, I'm a horrible... I'm a horrible fisherman. <laughs> Even when you had absolutely nothing to eat. Oh, oh, cause I'm a very, I'm a saint. <laughs> I know. Thank you. What would you prefer? Being able to fly, but to live under the ground? Or being immortal, but sleep forever? Those are horrible options. Both options are, exactly. See, I have some common sense. However, you are given a choice. Be able to fly, but never do it. To be immortal, but sleep forever. What kind of question is that? The main thing is that you don't get to surface and never see the birds. Who cares about the birds? I'm a fisherman. So now what now? Nothing. I'd like to end this conversation on a philosophical note. Philosophical. Philosophical note. But you screwed up even here. Follow me. I need to show you something. All right, let's see it, buddy. Where are we going? This place is full of seaweed. You'll see who said... Mm, mm, very good with words. <laughs> oh, so much seaweed. That is a, that's a hook. Another hook. A big... Oh, it's like that episode of Spongebob. You guys remember that? The hook. Fish was swimming in the river. It was caught by the hook of a silver. 
In the name of the greatest sea, make a choice and you'll be free. Go to the surface, pull the hook. I'm curious, what happens if I pull the hook? Oh, whoa, okay, all right, buddy. You nasty, nasty fish. Okay, I got it. Okay, I won't fish anymore, all right? I'm bad at it anyways. Oh. Oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna... F oh, come on, this is the third time, buddy. Have you ever thought... Of ooh, ooh, yikes. Yikes, nikes. Ooh, okay, they're all just staring at me. All right, get up. Open your eyes. I know you're not dead. I know, I know. I've been through this whole spiel before. Ah, I'm back. How you doing? Doing good? Hello there. So, you're at the bottom. One more time. However, you are no stranger. I know, I know. Something is very wrong. It stinks fishy in here. How's the family? How's the family? Hmm, the family is just great. Did they taste well? Try with charter sauce next to this seems very familiar. We've already talked about something like this. Smump down bunga be junga bung. Don't know what that was. What's up, Java? Oh god, I'm turning into a fish! Oh uh, yeah. Uh uh what now? <laughs> well I mean how ironic that I'm the worst fisherman in the world that I become a fish. Oh, oh no. Oh Oh I'm a fish and I'm being fried. Well then, there was some philosophical note right there. That was, that was a cool game. I liked it a lot. Really fascinating. The art style was beautiful, but it was a good, it's had meaning to it. And you know, most things in life, they always have to have some kind of meaning to it. So I hope you all enjoyed in this set of it. Signing off.